Ever wonder how you can increase the number of icons that are available within this uh, icons object? As you can see here, by default, we have a limited set of icons in our disposal. And there are actually two different ways of uh, how you can increase the number of icons that uh, you can use uh, out of the box from your Android Studio. Now the first and not that popular way is just by adding a new icon to your drawable directory. So we can go to new, then a vector asset, and from here we can choose uh, one of the material icons uh, that we can uh, immediately add in our project. So you can just uh, basically search for each and every icon here, and we can also select uh, a style for those icons as well. Now that's the first way of course. But the problem with this approach is that uh, you cannot uh, add that uh, drawable resource as an image vector. In this case you would have to create or actually add a new parameter to this uh, icon uh, composable function, which is a painter resource. And then from here you would have to specify that uh, drawable icon which you have just created. And the second way is uh, by adding uh, a new dependency for uh, extended material icons. So let's add here that uh, new uh, dependency, which is called the compose material material icons extended. Now let's sync the project. So this library is actually large and uh, you should consider adding it uh, only if you need uh, a lot of different icons uh, for your uh, project. But uh, anyhow, after you add this dependency, uh, then from our icons uh, object here, we can uh, use uh, many different icons. So now as you can see, we have a lot of more uh, icons uh, which we can import directly from this uh, icons object. So there you go. We have many and many different uh, icons. Now I repeat once again, so uh, this library which we have uh, just uh, added to our project is uh, quite large, almost uh, 20 megabytes I think, and uh, you should add it to your project uh, only if you are sure enough that uh, you are going to need uh, many different kind of icons uh, for your uh, existing project. Otherwise, you can always add a couple of icons into your drawable directory and not uh, import the whole library, which uh, is actually large. Okay, so that will be all for uh, this video. Comment down below and uh, like this video if you find it uh, helpful, of course. And uh, see you in the next one.